Okay, so I finally took out my mermaid wig. And as you can see, this looks way better than this. This definitely didn't come out the way I wanted it to or expected it to. Um, I'm very disappointed in this. Try to bring into the light a little bit more. I know it's a dark corner of my room. But I'm very disappointed. Um, for one thing, this is really frizzy and really, like, does not look good. Like, the colors look amazing. But, like, yeah. And then you turn it around and you're like, what the frick is going on here? Like, the braids and, like, the beads and everything, like, they didn't even finish the fishtail. I was like, what the frick? Look at this. They do these braids. And then they go, they, they bring them together into a fishtail in the back. And they didn't even finish the fishtail. It just lay, lays loose and, like, comes apart. And it's all matted. And it's like, what the frick were you trying to do? It looked beautiful, but this is so chintzy. I'm glad I got in clearance. Because this really, and the beads and everything are so pretty. How do they even have these in here? They haven't tied it to the wig. Okay. I can respect that. But yeah, look at this. Like, I'm going to have to brush this entire thing out. There's no choice. I have to brush it out because I don't know how to fish braid, but I guess it's a good way to learn how to fish braid because I'm going to have to learn how to do this again. But yeah, it has to be brushed out. This whole thing is a disaster. Look how knotted it is. And it just desperately needs brushed out. And these braids don't even hang the right way. Like, I'm going to have to redo... Well, I'm going to have to learn on a French braid. Holy crap. But I can't, I'm not going to leave it like this. This is so bad. So we're going to learn see uh, what we can do about this. Because um, I have to brush out the bottom regardless. But the colors look so beautiful. Look how pretty those colors look. I just wish it wasn't so matted and, like, destroyed. But this is so pretty, so even if I can't get it back into the braids again, I think it's going to look gorgeous. Even if I can only do, like, a top thing here and then, like, to show off the pinks and stuff below and the pearls, I think it's still going to look great. Um, I'm going to have to move the pearls when I brush it out, obviously. But, um, yeah, this, uh, this would have looked amazing if they hadn't botched it so bad. This and that. Do not look the same. This and that are not the same thing. They really botched this wig. But we're going to try to fix that. And voila, I have trimmed and brushed out and trimmed the edges of the wig. So now it doesn't look so matted. It's a lot less curly because that's the way it is. Plus, my hands warm it up, so that like kind of takes out some of the curls when I'm constantly running my fingers through it. Um, but yeah, I haven't done the fishtail braid yet. That's gonna be last. First, I had to get the bottom because the bottom was so horrendous. Um, I actually kind of noticed that the beads are higher here than they are on here on the wig, like itself, the attachment, which was very strange. I'm like, oh well, that's interesting because it kind of bothers me. <laughs> It's like they should be even. They should be lower on one side than the other. That does bother me. <laughs> I guess it's the design. I'll see what I can do about that. Um, but I mean, if anything, it'll just be a part of the design. Um, but yeah, next is the top portion with the uh, fish braid. I put a thing in here to keep it apart from all of that. But yeah, this uh, top portion here. I'll have to learn how to French braid and fish braid in order to get this back to normal, but it's going to have to come down for now. Because it's already not proportioned right anyways. Oh my, but yes, it is now officially... Oh, look at those gorgeous purples and pinks. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful down. And brought back up again to see these colors better. But oh my gosh, look at that. It's so much better than it was, though. It does look straighter, of course, but... And it's more blended, which actually makes it look almost even cooler. But yeah, there she is. All right, here we go. It's all done. It's all pulled. It's all brushed out. The whole thing is undone. 
that the beads actually are even. The problem was uh, the braid was so off-centered that it made the beads not look centered enough. But they actually are even, surprisingly. And also, my mannequin's head is slightly tilted, so that doesn't help. This says... Well, I'll take the beads. They kind of make a weird look on it. But it looks so pretty like this with her hair back, because that's not her intended look. Um, I'll get the beads out of the way, though. It's kind of pretty, because they kind of look like a, a necklace <laughs> when they're down. They almost look like a, a necklace. This is her without the beads. I'm going to try to get her bangs to still stay back a little bit more. Um, I mean, I'll probably just put in that partial ponytail in the back, that top one, to represent it. But yeah, this is what she looks like. Her hair is completely brushed out. And, uh, yeah, she's brushed out. Still wavy and kind of curly, but, like, definitely not as much because of the fact that I... I had to brush it so much and my hands were getting warm, so they were straightening it by accident. Um, but yeah, you could tell where the braid was because of the waves here. The blue, the top blue was really the biggest part of the braid, with the pink added in later. Um, but yeah, this is what she looks like. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate any, uh, comments. And, um... I'm going to have to learn how to French braid and fishtail braid um, in order to get, if I ever want to get her hair back up to that again. If you can do both of those things, I'll happily let you do it for me. Because, uh, yeah, I can regular braid, but not uh, French braid or fishtail braid. I grew up a country girl, so I really, my mom wasn't really into that, unfortunately. Uh, so I never really learned. My friend had to teach me regular braid when I was sixth grade, so. But otherwise, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me, uh, brushing out this, uh, mermaid wig. And, um, enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. This is Sally Lioka for Life, signing off.